Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we learned the basics of decimal numbers, it is time to understand the multiplication of decimal numbers. How do we multiply decimal numbers? Now here in this, now in, in the last section, we spoke, we discussed a certain problems where we dealt with division of decimal numbers, but that is something which we are again going to learn in detail in the next section. So this section will deal with multiplication and then following section will deal with division. Now when we talk of multiplying decimal numbers, so where do you think we need to multiply decimal numbers? Now, have you ever been to a shop and just checked the price of the vegetables? Let's say that you go to a shop and you find that the rate for tomatoes are rupees 7.5 per kg. That is 1 kg of tomato costs rupees 7.5. Now, you chose some potato, uh, tomatoes and when you weighed it in the machine at the shop, you find you found that the amount of potatoes that you are buying is 0 0.5 kg. So how much price you will have to pay for these many tomatoes? So basically the price of 1 kg is 7.5. So what would be the price of 0 0.5 kg? It would be 7.5 into 0 0.5. Right? So this is a place where we need to multiply decimal numbers and how do we multiply decimal numbers that also we should know. Now how do we multiply this we will learn about the tips a little later but let us try to compare the multiplication of these decimal numbers with the multiplication of normal whole numbers. Now how do we represent the multiplication of whole numbers on a number line? So let us say this is a number line. You have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. Now what do we mean when we say 7.5 multiplied by 0 0.5? That means 7.5 is added 0 0.5 times. Now what is 0 0.5? 0 0.5 is basically 1 by 2 that is half right so 7.5 is added half times so 1 times 7.5 would mean from 0 you will go till here 7.5 would have been somewhere here so this is 7.5 into 1 this that would have been here but here it is 7.5 into half that means 7.5 is added half times not even 1 times so instead of this place, it would be somewhere exactly midway. So where is that midway? That midway is somewhere here. And when you actually look at this value, that this value would, would correspond to something like 3.75. And that is the product of 7.5 and 0 0.5. Now, do you actually understand what is happening when we are multiplying two decimal numbers? Now, this is something which I showed on the number line just to relate to it that it is also the same concept which is there for whole numbers. The concept remains the same. But the question is on a number line, we can only see the whole numbers. We cannot see the decimal numbers. Right. So how how can we multiply on a number line? We can't do that. So what what is the real meaning of multiplication of two decimal numbers so in, in order to understand this concept let us consider the simplest decimal number let us try to understand what do we mean by 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 now the meaning is pretty simple it basically means what is 0 0.1 this is nothing but 1 by 10 1 by 10 of 1 by 10. This is the meaning of 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1. Now what is 1 by 10? 1 tenth of anything. So if you have, uh, let's say if you have a train with 10 compartments, so one compartment out of those 10 compartments, that is 1 tenth. So when you look at this uh, image, so you have 10 compartments and one out of those 10 compartments represent one tenth. So this yellow colored region represents one tenth of this complete set. Right? 
Now when I say one tenth of one tenth, that means I am talking about one tenth of this part. So what should be one tenth of this part? So for that again, we will have to divide this part into 10 compartments. So divide this into 10 compartments and then one part out of those 10 parts, the one which is marked in orange. So this part represents one tenth of one tenth, right? Because this entire part is one tenth. One tenth of this is this red region which you see, the red colored line. That shows the region which is one tenth of this one tenth, right? Now basically if I want to understand, so how much is this one tenth of one tenth of the complete set? What fraction of this complete set is this red line? How will we be able to know that? So it is one tenth only when we considered this compartment, the first compartment. But how much fraction of this total thing is this red line? So that is what is the product of this, right? So for that, what we have to do, we have to assume that let us say that the entire set has been divided into thin compartments. So in that case, this first compartment has 10 sub compartments. Similarly, the second compartment also has 10 sub compartments. So everywhere you have 10, 10 compartments. So in how many places you have 10, 10 compartments in 10 places, right? So you have 10 compartments in 10 bigger compartments. So that means total how many compartments do you have? Total how many such thin sections or thin regions do you have? So you have a total of 100 such regions, right? So like this red one, simply like this type of region, how many do you have? You have 100 such regions. And this red one is just one region out of those 100 regions. So basically this part is one of 100 when considered for this entire set. So when you consider it only for this compartment, it is one tenth of this compartment. But when you consider it for this entire set, it is one hundredth of this entire set because this entire thing has hundred such small compartments because one compartment has ten small compartments. So ten such compartments will have ten into ten small compartments that is total there will be 100 such thin compartments and this one is one out of these 100 compartments. So this shows that one tenth of one tenth is basically 100. So that means how did we actually multiply? So 1 by 100 again is 0 0.01. So now the tip that you need to remember is you just normally multiply. Forget about the decimal sign. So 1 into 1 is 1. So just write 1. Now placing the decimal point is a challenge. So how do you place the decimal point? So here you see after decimal you have one digit. Here also after decimal you have one digit. So one digit here, one digit here. That is you have two digits after decimal considering both the numbers. So here you place the decimal in such a way that you have two digits after decimal. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.01. So we will learn about the rules a little later again. But here you just understand what is the meaning of 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1. So you have clearly understood? Okay, if yes, then let us again do a similar exercise. What do you mean by 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.2? So this basically means 0 0.1 is nothing but 1 by 10. So 1 tenth of 2 tenth. So that is the meaning of 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.2. So let us first see what is 2 tenth. That means 2 parts out of 10 parts. 2 compartments out of 10 compartments. So here you see these 2 compartments are marked yellow because they represent 2 tenth. So this much part represents 2 tenth. Now of this 2 tenth, we want to represent 1 tenth. That means if this, this region is divided into 10 equal sections, then one such section would be 1 tenth. So you see this entire thing has been divided into 10 sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And one of these 10 sections is 1. So that means this red thing represents 1 tenth of 2 tenth. Now the question is again the same. How much part is this 
orange thing of the entire set so for that again we assume that the entire set has been divided into such smaller sections so now this much part has how many subsections how many small compartments this much part has 10 compartments therefore again this much part that is two such compartments will have 10 small compartments so two again compartments will have 10 small compartments again two compartments will have 10 compartments and so on so all together in this entire thing how many com total small compartments do you have 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 which is 50 so in this entire set you have 50 such small compartments and this red one is our 110 of 210 so basically red one is how much of this entire thing it is just one part out of 50 part so 1 by 50 should be the answer so do you think 1 by 50 would be the answer yes it will be because if you multiply this you get 2 by 100 now if you again bring it reduce it to its lowest form you would get 1 by 50 and when you convert this fraction into its decimal you would get 0 0.02 and that is the product of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 now why i did all this was not to create more confusion but to make you understand the real meaning of multiplication of two decimal numbers so once you have understood this now i am going to tell you tips how to calculate fast Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.